Leo, welcome. And to any new viewers, welcome. I am Simone the Moon Goddess. This is your July, well, the second half of July 2020 reading. So from the 15th to the 31st of July. All right, so this will cover Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising Signs. Um, check the other placements so you get a nice, well rounded idea of what's potentially up ahead for you for the next two weeks. Now, remember, these are general messages. So if this does not resonate, it's not your message. All right. Um, and yeah, that's it. Let's just jump into your reading. So spirit guys, assist me in connecting to Leo, assist me in channeling a message for Leo and may all messages be for the highest good of all involved with harm to none. Amen. Ashe, so it is. If you are interested in connecting with me for personal reading, however, my details are down below on how you can book. Um, and there's a whole party happening in the description box, um, my social media, my contact details, there's a tarot wish list, a donation link, go check it out. All right. So let's get in. What's the messages for Leo spirit guys? Make it clear, please. What's the message? Thank you. All right. The Six of Pentacles is your card, Leo. This is the energy that describes you in this moment. So there's a sense of coming into a balance. I don't know. Um, given this, the given what's happening on a global scale, some of you might have been having financial issues recently. And over the next two weeks, you might start to see things coming into balance in some way. All right. When it comes to love, there's also a balance. There is an equal give and take here within this situation and within you also there is a sense that you are doing a lot of praying a lot of meditating a lot of connecting which is good asking you shall receive right that's how it works let's see what's influencing your six of pentacles five of swords so recently you might have found um there was some kind of issue with balance and it created a conflict within your situation within your external world there's some kind of conflict that's happened here or maybe you coming into balance is creating a conflict in somebody else. Maybe you're tired of conflict and you just want balance in your life. All right, so there is Taurus energy here. There is Aquarius energy here. Maybe thinking outside of the box. Maybe you feel conflicted with thinking outside of the box on how you deal with your finances or the within a relationship hmm interesting let's see what's called you to this reading the foundation the eight of cups so you're looking to walk away from something here leo walk away from something or someone contemplating it wondering if that's the only way to to get this balance to come back into your life and your subconscious mind is the eight of pentacles two eights well so you're working on it you're working towards something here Maybe you've recently retreated from a situation and you're bringing balance into your life by focusing on you and focusing on what you need in order to build a solid foundation for yourself. For some of you, it's that like you're tired of having financial instabilities and you now want to put get things balanced. You want to get responsible and put the work in, the effort in, is in your mind. Right, you want to put the effort in maybe to walk away from overspending, overindulging. For some of you, it's that like you're realizing that when you work on yourself, that you are no longer able to deal with a relationship the way how it has been up to this point, or the way how you relate to people up to this point. There's a refinement happening here, a walking away and a refinement. In your recent past is a tower. Wow, well, here we go. So, something happened. That's creating, that's created this change. Um, unexpected change potentially, or there was just that whatever structure, whatever footing you were on, it was, it was like you're building on a, on a rocky foundation. And at some point it got too much and everything came crashing down. Now, this might be the eclipse happening, eclipse season that we just came out of, those three eclipses. This could be retrogrades. This could be everything, right? This could be everything. 
Def definitely a spiritual um, shift. All of these cards right now, all of these cards prior to this tower were all external energies. The tower is the spiritual. It's the spiritual side of you. It's your spirit. It's your spiritual path, your spiritual healing, your spiritual story. The energy is coming in for you, Leo. <laughs> wow, another spiritual card. The chariot. So you're definitely moving full steam ahead. There's change coming, transformation coming, moving in the right direction. Wherever you might have felt stagnant, things are starting to move. Wherever you've been working towards something, you're going to start to see movement happening, change happening, expansion happening. Maybe this is as you move into Leo season, you start to feel um, fired up again. Considering that we are currently in cancer season, maybe all of this, because I feel like you're in a deep reflection and all of this might be connected to cancer season, all of this water energy. You've got the Eight of Cups and the Tower. Lots of purging. Okay, so your word of advice, my loves, the two of swords. So there's a decision. There is a decision for you to make. All right. You might, again, be feeling split. Maybe the conflict. It's like you want to bring in this balance. You want to feel balanced in whatever aspect in your life. Maybe how you relate to people, your relationships, your money. Um, but your old self all right so it's like i said to another son i don't remember which one but it's like your spirit has already made the journey and your physical body is now catching up that's what i'm feeling right so this is why you might be feeling split down the middle you might be feeling as if you were in two different worlds right so you could see your new world you can feel it right you could see it it's right there but it's still there's still work to be done <clears throat> There's still healing to be done. You're still working your way towards that light. Let's see what's your external influences. The death card. Wow. Beautiful. So there's that transformation. Y'all got this. All right. All of the cards. Like your past energies. Energies coming in. And now your external influences are all major cards. So this is deep spiritual healing. Deep spiritual connections. This could be a Scorpio in your life, a Scorpio moon, Scorpio rising. This could just be life happening and that's creating this renewal. Now you have the tower and here is this renewal coming in and external influence. So that tower moment I feel was very much divinely led, very much divinely led. Don't be afraid of any death because from death comes life. It's a sense of being reborn. You're shedding, coming into yourself. So maybe again, as you move towards Leo season, this is where all of this transformation is coming because that's your season. It's your solar return. So it's a new, you know, you're shedding your old life now. And as your solar return approaches and you are in your solar return, that's the new year, the new life for you. Let me get another card for that. The four swords. All right, so a sense of retreating. It's also like a stairway to heaven. Like everything that you're experiencing, I feel is divinely, it's a divinely guided um, experience. It's a divinely guided healing process. Four of Swords, so that's Libra. So balance again, balance energies. Potential obstacles or blockages, hopes and our fears. The Knight of Cups. All right, so a Knight of Cups might be kind of like holding you back in some way. Maybe somebody who, you know, loves to party. Somebody, the person who you would go to when you wanted to overindulge and have way too much fun. If that's possible but you know what I mean you know the lack of discipline the lack of focus could be this Knight of Cups Cancer Scorpio or Pisces um, or just somebody who's a very like oh yeah stop worrying about it it's all good don't you know let's just have fun it's that type of energy hold on let me get another one the Ten of Pentacles 
So you're overindulging in some way might have, might stop you from getting this stability, this balance, this relationship, this commitment, you know, stacking your money, having legacy. So be mindful of that. All right. It might also be that for some of you, there's a Knight of Cups who's coming into your life or who is in your life who wants you in a committed way, right? But you might be a little bit like, I don't know. I don't know if this is the relationship for me. Yeah. It goes back to the beginning where I feel as if you all are now looking to get serious. Okay, so I want to I wanna be able to buy a, a house in however many years. I want to be able to travel. I want to be able, I want to have money that my children and their children and their children will be okay. This might be going on in your mind and... There might be somebody in your life who takes you off of that path or just you yourself sometimes, you know, lack of discipline takes you off of that, off of your path. But I'm not saying don't have fun, have fun, but be able to balance it, right? Six of Pentacles, first card, your card. Bring balance, have fun, work hard, play hard. You know, balance it out. Okay, let's see. Because... This Ten of Pentacles is here for the, for the card to show up. It shows the energy surrounding you. But just don't lose sight of your end game. Don't lose sight of your goal. All right. So your final outcome, my loves, is the Hermit. Well, so considering that you have an external influence of the Four of Swords, which is retreating. Okay. This transformation is happening. Somebody on the outside of you who might be, who might. Um, they kind of they kind of inspire you to kind of pull back you know they kind of inspire you to slow down and to just chill here's that energy again but again a spiritual energy spiritual this is you your divine wisdom this is the in, this is the the part of you who's been there and done that right the part of you that might not necessarily be fun in your mind fun but it's wise right it's the, the 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 your innate wisdom that you know you should be following okay so there's a sense of solitude coming in maybe during your solar return you will be spending a lot of time alone right because you're being reborn so you're shedding a lot of your the old you and coming into a new level of a new version of yourself right you're you're expanding let's get another card while the devil huh. wow the devil let me get one more leo three major cards one after the other not to mention you have the chariot the death card the tower here's three cards for your final outcome three major cards wow so yeah and again it makes sense be heading into to your season so solar return it's a new year that's the time where we start to go deep we start to go deep you have the the hermit the devil and temperance all very like temperance is is again balance bringing balance seeking solitude bringing balance into your life having patience as well right there's there's a deep protection around you as well a deep spiritual protection and then the devil down the middle right so for me this is the overspending or overindulging maybe partying too much not being focused not being organized i feel like that's that and these two energies are your inner wisdom guiding you in the path that you truly want it's available for you this ten of pentacles is here just bring the balance i'm not saying don't have fun have fun, but don't over overdo it. Remember your end game. Remember your goal. Okay. Okay, wow. I'm curious. I just want, I'm curious. Leo, the world. <laughs> oh my gosh. You, four major cards, one after the other. The world. So here is your completion, your success. 
for some of you if you've been working towards like traveling um, building like saving money towards traveling is here it's also about limitations and restrictions because the world this is Saturn energy so everything that that you're experiencing maybe some of you are experiencing your Saturn return and this is why you feel as if things are a little bit like serious you got the two of pentacles so balance here balance my loves all of this is happening in order to bring balance wow there's virgo capricorn sagittarius sagittarius sorry yes yeah, sagittarius capricorn capricorn twice because the world card is saturn and saturn is capricorn's ruler the devil is is capricorn the hermit is virgo temperance is sagittarius so there's travel, there's travel. There is um, also spiritual wisdom, um, growing spiritually. Wow, deep. Bottom of the deck is the queen of wands. So there you are, Leo, right? So you have the power to make all of this happen. You have the power to make all of this happen. Y'all on a deep spiritual, yeah, makes sense. Solar return, that's the time when we start to look at ourselves. That's the time when it, it's a, it's time to put things in place for your new year, right? For the, for the 12 months ahead. And here's balance yet again, the four of pentacles. Wow, Leo, that's, this is deep. This is beautiful. Do the work. Do the work. You're going to start to see things coming in to balance for you. Your two of swords that like make all the decisions that you need to make. Clean up everything. Look at, um, take care of the small things. Take care of any loose ends. Get your budgets in place. Look at your relationships. Do people support you or they don't? Do they support your growth or they don't? You know, all these questions. You're questioning a lot. Some kind of conflict or a moment happened and, and it's created all of this and it's beautiful. Keep moving forward. Well, wow, okay, that was quick. Any other message for Leo Spirit, guys? Thank you. And thank you very much. So bottom of the deck, it says attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. All right, top of the deck, soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. So maybe that Knight of Cups is actually supporting you and helping you to build, but you might be worried that it's, 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 it might remind you of something from your past, right? So that's where your discernment has to come in. That's where you have to feel it out. What do your, what's your intuition telling you? How does it feel? Down the middle, forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. There we go. Right? So don't heal the past so that you can see clearly what's real. Your first card, my loves, is romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. It's crazy. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. You have flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. And your third card is express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Love it. All right, let me get some moon cards and wrap up your reading. Thank you. So bottom of the deck, a new star is coming, new moon. Yes, Leo. Solar return vibes. You got your commitment is being tested. First quarter moon, top of the deck. And you're very close to achieving your goal, Gibbous Moon. All right, so the cards that came up for you. The first one, step out of your comfort zone, North Node. All right, so you might be feeling a little uncomfortable with these changes that you're calling in, that you feel that you're intuitively led to take. And to make these changes that you're being led to take and make. Make and take. 
but it's fine it's outside of your comfort zone and it might feel a little bit weird but it's taking you so to, to such a beautiful place all right you have you are good enough full moon in virgo all right so trust the process and trust yourself trust your worth trust all this hard work that you're doing is going to pay off and you deserve all the goodness and a time for healing and balsamic moon all right so here we go leo that is your reading for the second half of july i hope that these messages have helped you if it resonates drop a comment um give me a thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you haven't again if you're interested in me reading for you personally my details are down below and leo until your next message much love bye